So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw anything using Vectornator Pro for the iPad Pro. Now this is the 12.9 inch um, iPad Pro, the second generation. I'm going to show you how I did this artwork in Vectornator Pro. And I'm also going to touch on uh, the differences between uh, InkPad as well as Vectornator Pro. So let's get started. I'm going to draw this poster of this anime called Cowboy Bebop. Now I'm going to use this uh, A4 size in portrait mode. So I'm going to select that. And I want to undo. Now the good thing about Vectornator Pro is this, that you can use gestures that are the same as uh, Procreate as well as Tire Suite Sketches Pro where you use two fingers to undo or three fingers to redo. So I requested for this and they, they are very fast. The developers of this app are very fast, very quick to, to put this feature in and I love it. I love them for it. So this is one of the things that uh, separate uh, Vectornator Pro from the other Inkpad clones out there. Now, the thing is this, all the tools that you find here, as well as on top here, are the same as uh, the original ink pad. It's just that the layouts are different. For example, the color wheel, the swatches and all that, the color, color wells are different, which, are, which is good. I like that. So, but anyway, let us, uh, let's try and draw something. So, today we are going to draw this uh, this poster of uh, Cowboy Bebop. I don't know whether you know about this car uh, this card. This anime was uh, way back when, um, back in my youth. I used to watch this and I loved this uh, anime because of its stylistic uh, uh, choices in the in, in the uh, in the art. So I I'm going to draw this uh, character, the main character called Spike. So this is the guy, he's a bounty hunter. And we are actually going to draw this particular poster. We're going to follow this kind of poster. We're going to deconstruct it and draw it layer by layer. So we have this poster over here. So the first thing that I see here is the red background. So let's try uh, drawing a red background by using this square. And we're going to all right, right down here. Now, as you can see, we can set the corner radius on the fly after I draw it. I don't want this color. Let's choose uh, a gradient, turn this on. And uh, the first color is red. The other one will be somewhat orangey, like that, maybe yellowish. And this one will be better. All right, and now I'm going to change. Let's undo that. Now let's select this and change the gradient position. You see that? Drag this up. And I'm just going to put this at the side. Drag it further. Okay, so that's that. We got our background. Let's make another layer. And then now we're going to draw the, oops, I draw a point. Okay, are we on a different layer? Yes. So let's try and draw. So you see, if I don't put a finger, a second, my, my finger here, if I don't put a finger here, it will just draw an ellipse. If I put a finger together with my Apple Pencil, it will draw a perfect circle. I want a perfect circle, so there you go. So select this arrow, this is selection. I'm going to drag here. I don't want uh, it to be a gradient fill, so I turn this off. I don't want a stroke as well. Now all these things are the same as the ones in Inkpad. 
So you're not actually missing anything much if you are not using Vectinator Pro. So that's it. Now, let's try and make this somewhat bigger. Let's use this tool to make it bigger. All right, I'm done. Now let's let's look at the poster. So as you can see from the poster, where is it? So it's like that. Let's have a look. So the the sun is uh, much brighter. Let's, let's make it into somewhat a different kind of color just to contrast now let's select this gradient here let's make it uh, much redder all the way to the top and this circle here I would like it to move down and we're done let's make another layer now, what we're going to do is have a look at this and let's deconstruct. The next layer, we're going to draw the character itself. So let's take out this tool here, the pen tool, and we're going to draw. The color fill is going to be somewhat black. Oh. I don't want that, so let's choose this black. Okay. Now, and then the stroke, we are not going to have any stroke. So, no stroke. That's it. Okay. So, let's draw the body. Collar. Done. So now I'm going to draw the head. Let's try and draw something like that. Maybe it doesn't look so good. So let's look at what I've done previously. Like that. So we got the color down. Now let's try and follow this particular shape. It's just in... Okay. That's it. Okay, so now we have three separate, we call it paths. Now I can join this, but let's make some adjustments. I'm going to lower this. This is the head, the face. Now, definitely I need to do some adjustments. So two finger drag, two finger pinch and like that, okay. So this, use this tool, this arrow tool, double tap. I'm going to, this is the anchor point. If I double tap, it will disappear. Okay, now this is, uh, Let's undo that. Let's move this. So this is Spike's nose. So you see this, there is this uh, handle. If you use your finger, drag this handle, put one finger down.
try that again. Okay. Ah, so you see, right now both handles are moving. If you only want one, so hold this handle and put one more finger on the screen. Now only one handle is moving. So you can make some adjustments. Drag this handle and change it. Okay, so I'm gonna do some modification. So move it. I don't like, like this. Okay. Now this handle um, and hold. Just okay, and this put it down. Take this anchor tool to remove some of the points. All right. Now, what if I want to join this and this together? So all I need to do is let's lock this layer first. Lock it so that I don't move it. So select both and use path and join. Did it join properly? Let's let's check. Somewhat yes. Okay. Or you can actually, yeah. Well, you can do that. Join. So now it's just one whole path on its own. Okay. So we have that. Now let's make some minor tweaks. I don't want this point. I'm gonna move this. I don't want this point as well. Oh, it looks like it didn't join. So let's join it. Let's see what happens. Okay, and it's done. All right. Okay, so the hair is on point, the neck, the face. So what we need now is maybe a bit of adjustment here. Maybe there's too much points here. Okay, that's the nose. Let's have some very uh, forward eyes and a bit of indent for the mouth okay and now let's draw the cigarette okay now let's draw the smoke comes off the cigarette. So this will require a fill and it's going to be white and the stroke, there will be no stroke. So let's try. Okay, looking good. That's it. Now, Let's do something fun, but before that, we need to combine this with the body. So let's try. Combine. Oh, let's select again. Path. You can join. Let's try combining. See what happens. Oh, you didn't, you didn't really combine. So let's move this down further. Does it look okay? Let's move this. So the good thing about this is there are 
arrows for okay let's move it okay <laughs> all right a bit of a difficulty there I need to zoom in to select that okay otherwise I'll be selecting the points and nodes so path what happened there path join hmm something's not right okay path combine no path sorry path join now why did this happen I'm not sure I don't know maybe this is a bug so let's uh, what happens if I unite uh, unite to looks okay does the job all right so this is done now I want this to have a gradient let's make a gradient fill now remember that I don't want a stroke so the stroke use the gradient I want it to be this color so the start has got to be black the end somewhat a dark red like that beautiful so now I'm going to adjust the gradient like that and then we're done cool now let's just move this now we can also group this that's this and this arrange and group it like that if I don't want to group it it's fine so I just select this let's move that closer and we're done Now this particular mouth I don't really like. Undo. Okay, we're done here. So, let's do some adjustments on the cigarette. Let's undo that, yeah. Okay. Okay, we're done. And now let's make another layer let's draw a spaceship but first let's lock all of the layers the spaceship 
looks uh, one side is symmetrical to the other so let's just draw one side of it let's use instead of a line we use this tool this pen tool just draw a point the main anchor points we're gonna we're going to adjust all the curves later on just get the main basic anchor points down and join so we're done here okay let's move that so we got one side done and let's make some adjustments so as you can see I always if I want just one handle I drag this and use one finger on the screen so only one handle is being manipulated so let's move on let's move this one and drag down Okay, so maintain it straight, straight. Okay, I think we're done here. Okay, and now let's give it a fill. Maybe a gradient fill. And the first color will be red. Second color will be somewhat orangey no somewhat yellow okay so let's adjust the gradient all right so i don't want a stroke so that's it i'm going to make it uh, i'm going to duplicate this so let's let's see Edit, duplicate, edit, um, arrange, flip horizontally, okay, now you can also use this feature called snap to points or snap to grid if you want okay somewhat okay i guess so now i'm going to select both of it and then i'm going to do unite so this extra bit here i do not wish to have it so i use this anchor point tool to delete so far so good stretch it out now I'm going to make it smaller select the whole thing and then make it small all right now the spaceship a few adjustments need to be done let's select this tool so this is the tool do it again
I'm going to move it down. Use these arrows, very useful here. Move it down. And this I'm going to adjust. I forgot to adjust it just now. Let's turn this off. Okay. Looking good. Next, drag this all the way down. Let's get that gradient back. Yeah, so let's move this, we're done. So we got this Okay, somewhat, somewhat okay. So next, let's draw the stars. So lock this previous layer, we got a new layer, and now I'm going to draw the stars, somewhat like that. So now, let's use a very useful tool, the star. I only want four points, and the stars will have a gradient fill of white and white, but this particular white will be it has, uh, it's going to be a, an elliptical gradient and I'm going to set the opacity to low. So let's test. All right, that's our star. It's one. And let's adjust this particular gradient. Okay. Done. So let's adjust further. Gradient fill. Okay, I think it's good. So next, we're just going to duplicate and I'm going to move it. Let's redo that. Okay, let's go to edit and duplicate again. Okay, this time I'll make it smaller. Done. Okay. Let's just draw instead of duplicating. Let's do a text. All right, so let's move this down and let's, let's set the size bigger. Okay, but in this case, I need to make the box bigger and move it here. Maybe the font is not very suitable, so I'm going to change it. Ah, my favorite. Okay, I think that's that's about it, right? Let's make some changes to the hair. So let's lock the, the text layer. 
Uh, I'm going to make some changes to the hair. Did that. Okay, now it looks much better, like a like someone's head. How about this one? I need to remove certain points, make it nicer. We're done. So how about that? Oh, one last thing. Let's lock that. Let's get to this. Now the gradient. Let's make some changes to the gradient. Aha, uh -huh. look at that. I'm making it uh, less opaque. Okay, and we're done. So that's how I do it. Now, let's export this uh, to AI. Boom, very fast. Export it to SVG. Lightning fast. All right, so that's how I draw this artwork of mine in Vector Native Pro. Now, Vector Native Pro is a clone of the original Inkpad. Now, the current Inkpad is also uh, based off the original Inkpad. There are so many vector artwork apps out there, for example, uh, iVector Lite, which I just found out from a, from a commenter on my previous video. So, if you decide to get this, uh, do contact the developers if you wish to add on more features that you like. For example, I, I like to have two finger taps and three finger to, two finger taps to undo and three finger taps to redo, just like uh, the the drawing apps uh, that are very popular right now, which is uh, Procreate and Taya Suisse Sketches Pro, they have those gestures and it makes life so much easier for artists. So that's all from me, and I hope you find this video useful for you. And uh, if you like, you can uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy this video, you can subscribe to my channel to be notified of future videos something like this. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.